It was just guys coming to my mom's house to have sex with me. We never went out, like, I'm linking up and I'm drunk and, you know, you're coming over and we're having sex. We're never going out with each other. I really want that fairy tale. I want- God, she did not just admit that on a first date, dog. <laughs> I don't think I like that look. Hey guys, and <laughs> welcome back for another video. Of course, I have my lovely husband here. Okay, guys, so basically we found a video that was worth reacting to. And no judgment or anything, but she says that men are trash. So we're going to go ahead and digest this and leave our comments. I mean, shall we? I started gaining weight when I was like two. By 25, I was about 550 pounds. I'm about to go on my blind date. I'm so nervous. Dating is hard because men, they're just kind of like trash being big and beautiful i just feel like i am fetishized i'm a goal like i'm a conqueror the question i think we're 20 seconds in and i already have a problem with what she said now please answer this from a completely male perspective but would you say that she's a goal or something to conquer something to conquer uh you know what if you want to be like in world skin is or something maybe <laughs> I don't know. Oh, for like biggest tackle or something. <laughs> right, something. I mean, <laughs> look, 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 like bitch press a five four hundred pound chick. <laughs> I don't know. I know, like it's like no, ma'am. I don't think you're a goal. Like a goal would probably be like a um one of the Jenners or like you know like a, a Britney Spears type or like you know somebody who's really gorgeous a Rihanna like before the kids. You know what I'm saying? Like that would be more the goal. Like not. No, you I'm just. <laughs> I, I just, I just say this and be done real quick. Um, she said men are trash. Me, from my perspective, I wouldn't want to be with anybody I consider trash. So I just find it interesting. Men are trash, but yet you want a relationship with them. So, what does that say about you? Yeah, and then she's grouping all men, maybe just the ones that you've run into and chosen to accept into your life. You know, but we're going to go ahead and watch her go on this blind date. Apparently, they set her up through this show. Um, it's called Truly. And anyway, I've done a video based on their stuff before. So they take like real life people and just like show what it's like a day in their life. So let's go ahead and watch this blind date that they set her up on. I don't want to have to question myself anymore in my relationship. I don't want to have to be insecure in my relationship anymore. Have you ever dated a plus size woman? Um, no. Was it their weight that stopped it or just you guys just weren't compatible? Um, but we but so my look is like, I don't know, I'm very chic and it's cute and it's comfy and I don't have to worry about tugging anything all day. My name is Nina, I'm from Philadelphia. I'm 35 years old and I'm a full-time makeup artist. My mom said I started gaining weight when I was like two. I was 300 pounds by the time I was about 12, 13. I think I graduated high school around almost 400 pounds. By 25, I was about 550 pounds. I wanna find love now because I feel like I know it's gonna be real. You loved me then, and it's just like, let's ride off into the sunset with my, you know, my BBL and my, <laughs> my flat stomach. Dating is hard because I think men, they're just kind of like trash. Hey, I'm gonna stop it that quick, and I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I, uh, she's wearing a wig. She's got tattoos across her whole freaking chest, shoulders, down one of her arms, and the tattoos are kind of masculine. And then she's got a ton of makeup on and a very, very unflattering dress. Talking about, oh, I like to wear stuff that's chic. Chic? Chic? That's chic? If that's chic, then I don't want to know what non-fashionable is. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, because you're 400 pounds and you chose an outfit that doesn't show off any of your assets. Like, you don't have any boot. I hate to say it, but when you don't have a lot going on in the chest area, the last thing you want to do is like a big chest piece. And then if you're kind of round and you have a big stomach, the last thing you want to do is show that off. I'm just saying, like you may want to wear things that kind of flare out or a little loose fitting around the middle. I mean, that's just me. That's what I would define as chic. You don't have to be a size two, a size zero. It ain't that. It's just the fact that you're not destroy. You know, you're not showing what you have in a very flattering way. But yeah, men are trash. <laughs> When you see a fat person, you automatically think they are lazy, they stink. I go to the gym three, four times a week. I don't eat sugar. I don't, you know, I don't drink soda. I don't drink juice. I don't go to fast food. My type aesthetically, um, I like a beard. I like full lips. I like a mysterious guy, but a confident guy. In a perfect world, I would meet him and he would be my type and I would be his type. I'm ready for my blind date. My name is Matthew. I'm 41 years old. I'm from the greater Philadelphia area. I know absolutely nothing about my date. Uh, this is a blind date. 
So um, I will be surprised uh, anyway. Hi. My name is Matt. My name is Nina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wow, okay. I'm not nervous anymore. <laughs> I'm always nervous on a date. So, did you hear what she just said? This dude walks in, sits down, and she's like, oh, okay, I'm not nervous anymore. Like, in other words, she either felt an instant connection or she looked at him and thought, oh, he's nothing to, you know, feel ashamed around or, you know, like intimidated by. And I'm not going to lie, like, from a female perspective, I can answer this. I wouldn't think he was attractive. Like, he he wouldn't be my type. He looks, um, you know, like he could probably be in shape, but he looks to be a little on the shorter side. And I don't really like guys that don't have facial hair. I don't know. It's just, it's not my thing. But, um, yeah, he's just not facially attractive either, in my opinion. But it's just the fact that she said that, like, oh, I'm not nervous. Like, you should be, ma'am. I just thought what was probably going through his head that he didn't uh, voice is probably that, that clip from Deuce Bigelow. That's a huge bitch. <laughs> he was probably like, hmm. Matthew, hmm. How old are you? Pretty good, pretty good. I said, how old are you? Oh, um, well, I'm good, and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 41. Okay, I'm 35. Okay. So what do you do for a living? Um, I work for court. Nothing exciting. Nothing exciting? No. So would you do anything out of work? Um, sadly, no, not really. I, no passion, not nothing? No, not really, no. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a gamer. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that's like a like a stress reliever. Um, <laughs> I don't know nothing about games at all. Um, I just know that guys like to play them. Yeah, I, I used to be in the music. Um, that's passion. Yeah, well, used to. I came a certain age and I kind of, you know, focus on more, I don't know, serious things. Um, that's something you can still do. See, I'm a, I'm a realist. You know, I'm a realist. I can't, you know, I'm not, I'm not a dreamer. <laughs> I'm a dreamer within reason. I, I can't live in the clouds. <laughs> a dreamer with a reality yeah, yeah, sense. I like that. Yeah, okay, you know the, what? You can't be 40 something trying to compete with these younger people. So like, when I say I understand, meaning I'm that person, like, you know, like the 41 year old rapper. You know, I, I'm an influencer on social media, but it wasn't because I tried to, it was just because. I just influenced because of my size, because of the way that I dress. And I've always been like, not loud, but like, if I'm not loud, my outfit's loud. If I'm not loud, my hair, or my makeup, <laughs> or my tattoos. And I don't know, like, I guess I just get attention. Even if I didn't want it, it just happens. My family loved me so much that I actually never really felt the hate and so I left the house. I'm sorry, who believes that? Who believes that she gets attention whether she wants it or not? No, when you walk around like that, you're asking for attention. Like you're 400 pounds, you have a shirt that shows off your belly you have tattoos across your chest you have lime green nail polish like on your toes like i mean there's a lot of things that you have a fur coat like there's a lot of things that she does in just this first date that would be attention grabbing and the thing is i mean i can't speak for everybody but me i've always been more of a mellow type of person so me i one of the red flags for me would probably be a, a chick who straight up straight from the get-go seems like she wants attention because that means if you can give her the level of attention that she needs she might seek it elsewhere pretty much so yeah that's real as heck and um to me he seems like a pretty laid-back chill guy he said that you know he works for a court and um his passion is gaming which i mean there's nothing wrong with that there's there's full-blown gamers, YouTubers, people who really get into gaming. He just didn't have a chance to explain his passion before she overtook the conversation. Well, let me just point out, he said he works for the court. He didn't exactly say what he does for a living. So me personally, I think he's being ambiguous because he could, who knows, he could possibly even be a judge. Right, he may have some bank and he's looking at her like, yeah, I can't take you in public. Like, mm. <laughs> and that's why she probably says men are trash because while I, I put it to you like this, I'm not a man, but I can almost... I can almost bet my lucky charms that at least five out of ten dudes would smash her. Like, if she was willing and the the night was right, there was enough alcohol involved, it probably would be at least five out of ten guys that would easily just go ahead and hit that. But would they date her? Would they be willing to introduce her to family? Would they be willing to put a ring on it? That, I'm going to say, is probably lesser to close, probably one to two out of ten, if even that. what you say? What say you? <laughs> I mean, drunken mistakes happen. I mean, you, you, it happen. You just you keep it moving after that. It's <laughs> like, all right, you know. I mean, I, I've taken one for the team before. We've, we've all hung with our boys before, went out, and you know, <laughs> eat, try to even the numbers out. You know, you left to take one for the team. I mean, she, she <laughs> you know, she, she she's a team hitter. That's all I can say. She, she's a take one for the team. You know, <laughs> like if there was a group of friends and there was two hot chicks and her and then three of y'all you know it'd be the one that drew the shortest straw that would end up with her <laughs> type deal or 
Would you let the women choose? <laughs> y'all don't get a choice. I'm sorry. If we if we pay for drinks, y'all don't get a choice. <laughs> oh that. wow! We, we pay y'all don't get a choice. This the only choice y'all get is what y'all want to drink, and that's us being nice. <laughs> y'all hear this? Oh my god! This is you know what? Edit, edit. I don't know this man. <laughs> My family always like told me how beautiful I was and I was just normal, I guess. And um, you know, I'm guessing being 300 pounds at like 13 wasn't probably the normal, but my family loved me so much, I really didn't pay attention. I was delusionally confident because it's the- I just wanna point this out really quick. I'm so sorry to keep stopping that, I promise I won't. But like, remember in the beginning when she said, oh, I don't eat fast food, but did you notice that they showed what she got to eat clear as day, burgers and fries? <laughs> like the only way that I could actually get through life you do not have to be big to go through things in life. Like when they see a fat person like sad outside, they're like, oh, she's probably sad because she's sad. I'm like, I just had a bad, <laughs> sorry. I just had a bad day. Like I wasn't even actually thinking about my weight right now, but damn, like, but I feel like when you see sad fat people, it's like, you assume oh, that's why they're sad. Poor thing. She probably just wants to lose weight. Like, no, you do. Leave me alone. <laughs> like, can I go to the bathroom real quick? Uh, certainly. Okay. I'll be here. Okay. I think the day is going good. I think he's a little nervous. So um, I guess that's kind of like knocking my nerves out of it. Am I attracted to Matthew? Mm, he's a little different from my type. Um, I think he's handsome. Hello. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was a little bit bothered by the fact that she was like, can I go to the bathroom? First date or not, I'm just gonna let you know I'm going to the bathroom. I'm not gonna ask you for your permission. That's weird as heck. Like it comes off right away. Like she's all like, please date me. I'm so desperate. Please just don't be mad at me for any reason. Like if that's how it comes off to me. If you're asking for permission to go to the bathroom, you're an adult. <laughs> you don't have to ask like, what the heck? I like, don't, I don't think she meant it that way, but I'm more dissecting it, the guy and more and more. I just hearing the words he used, like when she said the bathroom, he was like, certainly or whatnot. I mean, his, his, his speech behavior, the, the, his, his, his style, I'm pretty sure that he he's probably he has a high position at that court. That's why he was real ambiguous. He could be either a lawyer, a judge, he could be somebody that's getting a nice amount of money. And he ain't he probably didn't want any girl trying to really flatter him for his money, so that's why he's like, Oh, I just work for the courts. Yeah. Just I mean, courts. even if he was a bailiff, that's still a decent job. You know what I'm saying? She's just a makeup artist. We don't know what she's making and she claims to be an influencer. I mean, I'm an influencer and I make some money from YouTube, but I'm not like banking by any stretch of the imagination not now anyways but you know what i'm saying so now, it's like now my comparison is like they probably won't do a follow-up of this i i highly doubt they would but i i seriously doubt him and her will be going anywhere after this because i'm just looking at the dynamic yes it, it seems like they have somewhat of a, a decent level of communication going but at the same time it's like i'm looking at the, the words she's using, the, the language she's using, I'm looking at him, he's carrying himself like in a, in a proper, you know, no no profanity, while her is like the total opposite. He's dressed in more of a conservative, like casual conservative fashion, while her- She's, she's like ready for the strip club, baby, like. <laughs> so it's, it's like, you know, they do say opposites attract, but I if, I feel that if it's too extreme, it, it it won't work. I, I agree. And I kind of get the vibe that he's just honestly doing this because obviously cameras are on him. He doesn't probably want to come off like a jerk. He's obviously a well-spoken, decent person, you know, just from the few minutes that we can see. What's the word I'm looking for here? Being like cordial. Yeah, he's being cordial. He's just appeasing, trying to be, he's humoring her right now. You know, he's humoring her. He's, he's really not interested because a guy that's interested, you know, they kind of, they have a little bit more like the way she's looking at him, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like even though she just tried to say she wasn't attracted to him, I think she knows that she's gotta be like, you know, the type like, oh, you know, he's here, he's alive. <laughs> like, you know, he, he was willing to show up in public to talk to me. So <laughs> I'm gonna probably try to date this dude, but I don't think he's attracted to her. And I think mainly it's because of her style. Like who knows, maybe another 400 pound girl who like you said, dressed more conservatively, was a little bit more dapper. Maybe he would talk to but it's just the um it's the ghetto-ness for me that just lets me know like yeah i don't think she's his type so whatever so i have a question because i always ask this have you ever dated a plus-size woman um no 
So I now, so I mean, I, I have been on dates mm-hmm. um, with with plus size women, but I've never like. Oh, got into a relationship yes, with them. Okay, that's okay, right, okay, yes. okay. But you have been on dates with them. Yes. Was it their weight that stopped it, or just you guys just weren't compatible? Um, I think we weren't compatible. You weren't compatible. Um, yeah, no. Yeah. No, I get that. I get but that. I I feel like that when I meet that person who gets me, I'll know it. And that's what yeah. I'm waiting for. You're like, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like if you're a little jaded, you're not going to like allow somebody to get to know you. Subconsciously, you probably don't even know you're doing it. I'm just saying, though, I feel well, like if- know, I'm, a, I'm a very private person. Um, and, you know, I don't feel that uh, most people would like deserve to fully know me. Some people are so guarded that they even jump in relationships with people and truly won't expose who they truly are, but then get mad when the relationship doesn't work. <laughs> right. And I'm just like, it's not going to work because I, you're not telling me who you are. Right. So I can't understand you if I don't know who fully, you are. Yeah, right. For the person fully reveals himself. I am an open book for the most part. I am. I have a lot of different sides of me. And not all not all of it's on Instagram, but most of it, I'm, pretty, I'm an open. I'm an open book. Well, so I'm not trying to change the subject, but as a plus size woman, do you, have you had struggles with dating? Have I been on dates? Yes. But I feel like for me, I've never been on that like, traditional like the man picks you up he like sets the whole date he has like the movie the dinner i think the biggest thing is like uh not being a fetish especially when i was 550 pounds like i knew at that point it was literally just sex like literally it was just guys coming to my mom's house to have sex with me we never went out like i'm linking up and i'm drunk and you know you're coming over and we're having sex we're never going out with each other i really want that fairy tale i want guys she did not just admit that on a first date dog <laughs> what <laughs> Yeah, there's no chance at this point. I'm sorry, nobody, male, female, you tell me that the majority of your hookups are literally just hookups, dudes coming over your mom's house to smash and you were already drunk. Like in other words, they didn't even bring you alcohol. You bought your own alcohol, you provided the place for them to come to, nut up in you or whatever, and then keep it pushing, keep it moving. That's not something that you tell somebody that you're trying to get to know. But you know what? One thing I can say that, you know, looking at this that she pointed out, uh, looking at the guy's mannerisms, like, yeah, it's, it's definitely not going to work. He's, he's being he's being courteous and pleasant. But, I mean, he's got his hands down at the table like this. You know, most people, they say body language. The more you're into somebody, the, the more you're going to lean forward. Like, you're you're almost leaning forward to, to what's engage. the word? To, well, into engage, but maybe, like, more to, I guess... Physically, what should, should physically just emphasize end. like you like them or something? Well, well, I can't get the words out. Anyway, you <laughs> lean forward and it's like your eyes are taking in more of the sight. That's that's what should I say? That's grabbing grabbing your attention or your interest. Here he's like straight up and down. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's like you know he doesn't even seem relaxed. Like got his hand on the table. It's like both hands are under the table. He's like like almost yeah. like like he's he's basically. He's comfortable enough to talk. He's giving her good eye contact, but it's more like watching two coworkers. Or- it's, it, he is showing that he's clearly not comfortable. So therefore, it's either her weight, her her attitude, or maybe it's the, or the tattoos or all of the above. It's something that's a not allowing him to get comfortable. And I get that maybe you might not be comfortable on the first date, but me, I've done speed dating before, and me, I can sit there, relax, and talk to somebody. Just you know, just engaging in a conversation so something to in my opinion for him is off-putting about her let's just be honest you know she's not your average woman your average woman in an everyday sense is not walking around 400 pounds so if you're going to be seen in public with somebody like that like and I'm, I'm talking from even a female perspective like i'm not really interested in dating a guy that's 400 pounds you know what i'm saying like that's just way too big i <laughs> mean it's just too big I mean, you can't really think of a future with someone like that. Like, their health is at risk. You can't think about procreating with them. There's a lot that goes into that. You, you can't imagine a lot. I think it depends on what your end game is. The reason why I say your end game, because I'll be honest, if I'm looking to just smash, yeah, I, you know, I, I can overlook a lot because I'm just, I'm just in there for a temporary, uh, a quick, I get my fix. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm just in it for a temporary, you know, moments pleasure or whatnot but um if i'm looking for something long term no i, I wouldn't be able to um overlook it because like me i had a rule i didn't date girls who had uh tattoos a girl that i was what should i say trying to get to know better or whatnot and i completely you know shut off contact with her when she told me she had a tattoo uh, of her brother and her dad on her back and i'm like her back where on her back like on her shoulder i don't care 
I mean, I don't want to be hitting you from behind and it'd be like, you know, it's like, okay. <laughs> it was, <laughs> how do I know those say guys that you previously was in, intimate with? <laughs> well, I'm not going to lie. Okay, let me just say this because, you know, it's not unusual for women to get back tattoos around the shoulder area. To me, that would have been fine. But if it's like anywhere lower than that, that is weird because I know, well, you know what? I'll just say it. My brother has my name tattooed on one of his wrists and my mother's name tattooed on the other. So that's because at the time, you know, when he got them, we were probably the most important females in his life. This was before he had a daughter and before he had an, a significant other. So, you know, he got that tattoo because it meant something to him. If anything, what I, I would get a placard with your name on it, <laughs> but not a tattoo. Just me. I don't know. I don't really get down with a lot of tattoos either, but if it's meaningful to you, I got no problem with it, especially if you can explain it. But the weird ones where it's like kind of evil looking. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Started, no, like that. Like the man that comes in and like you know the stuff that I can't figure out, he figures it out for me. That person I could like take on life with, like everything that happens in my life, I want him to be like right by my side. I don't want to have to question myself anymore in my relationship. I don't want to have to be insecure in my relationship anymore. Okay, wow, that's that shed some light on some things that I didn't, you know, I didn't know or understand. So wow. a lot of people don't, and I think some people don't live in that world. Some people see me and think nothing. I'm just another norm, normal human being. But for one of you, it's a thousand that do. Like, of course, you know, I, I do have a big personality. But also with that being said, like with social media, is like they get it 24 seven. And then people meet me and they're like, oh, they are pretty calm. And I'm like, I'm not big sexy 24 seven. Like I'm Nina. Like, right. Is your social media, is your, um like your podcast, like is that like your primary, like, you know, like job? No, I'm a full-time makeup artist. Okay. Oh, yeah, let me just talk about it. I'm a full-time makeup artist. Okay. But I was always, like, the fashionista in my friend group, and it just trickled into, like, doing their makeup. And then it just kind of snowballed because um, when I moved back into Philly, I started doing social media more. I started doing more with fashion and makeup, and it just snowballed. It's impressive. <laughs> Thank you. My work and my personality, everything kind of all ties into why I think I'm so successful at this. I, I hate to bring it up, but like, I'm not the most, you know, fashion coordinated person myself. But one thing I will say, doesn't it seem like the people that quote unquote claim to be fashionistas be like the worst dress? Like they literally showed what she wore to this day, a pair of clear plastic heels with some type of thin belly dress and a fur coat, probably not even a real fur coat. Let's just be real. I mean, on what planet do you wear open toe shoes and a coat? Like I just, okay. But again, that's just my thoughts. Well, Nina, I had, a, I had a really great time. I really did have a good time. I enjoyed meeting Good conversation. You ready to go? Yeah. All right. Let's go. <laughs> that dude didn't hesitate at all. You ready to go? He was like, yeah. <laughs> he ready to go. <laughs> Insert comic book, man. Worst movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. I think the date went well. Um, I like that even if it doesn't go past this, I think I opened him up to like things that he never knew, never thought about. Overall, I think it went well. Um, I, I was comfortable. Um, we had good conversation. Do you guys think you'll see each other again? I would be down to go out to dinner again. I think you're a good conversationalist. Um, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was good, good company. He was like, yeah, 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 good talking. Like, in other words, that's all it was. <laughs> you guys go back and look when she first said that, his eyes raised, and it was like, oh, no. It was like, yeah. <laughs> he just didn't he didn't want to be rude that's all that was this dude was a very nice guy and i'm not gonna lie it's not like he's the most handsome dude ever there's some kind of character some kind of cartoon he looked like i don't know what it is i think i'm gonna think about it later maybe that pink thing from futurama but um you know what i'm talking about that thing that got the like wavy mouth that'd be like oh, no. <laughs> he looked wrong. like that guy but anyway you know so it's not like he's the most handsome fish in the sea either but i'm pretty sure he can do better than her just based on his weight <laughs> That's why this was so shocking and so interesting to watch. Um, any last thoughts from you, baby? Uh, there's plenty of fish in the sea, bro. <laughs> Simply put, I love it. Okay, y'all, definitely leave us a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, ooh, Michael says hi, too. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> okay, your turn. <laughs>